All right, everyone. Hope you're here this morning. What I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to make some of these little bacon cornbread sticks. Something you can carry with you hunting or whatever you know. It's a little snack when you're in the woods. So you will stick around and see what all I'm going to show you today. All right, the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking my bacon here. I'm using real bacon and I'm going to cook it up real good and crisp and everything. And then it'll be broke up into my cornbread mix. So that's where I'm at right now. Make it go on here. I'm gonna be working on my cornbread mix. And I just had to use beefy cornbread mix because there wasn't any little corn on it before. So uh just do the jiffy the way it says, except I use two eggs and nine instead of one because it just turns out better. And I always go in and bust up all the lumps and everything, make it, make it a little better. You see when you open the jiffy cornbread, make sure it's lumpy and all from the humidity. So you bust it up, it just makes it work better. And when I get done with the bacon, then I'll break the bacon up in it before I ever add milk. It's real simple, real simple thing. Okay, bacon is up pretty crisp. Took this bowl, put some paper in it, just to kind of soak up some of the grease and kind of let it cool a minute before I start breaking it up. Don't throw away your bacon grease. Save your bacon grease. Because you're going to use your bacon grease to oil your pans a little bit. And then whatever's left, I save anyway, so... Always save your bacon grease. So, let that cool a minute, and then I'll be right back and see what I do next. Okay, what I did was I just broke up my bacon into my cornbread mix. Add my milk and stir it all up and everything. Uh, I just prefer breaking mine up with my fingers, but you could put it in a bowl and crunch it up with a spoon or whatever. You can do that. Let me get the milk in there. Let's see how that turns out. All right, got the milk in there, and I got it where it's still kind of runny like that. That's the way you want it. You don't want it where it's like biscuit dough. You want it to be a little runny to go in your pans. So let me get these pans all fixed up, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of paper, and I'm going to rub the inside of the pans a little bit with the bacon grease so it doesn't stick. Okay, I took my bacon grease and I greased up my pans. I used a piece of paper here, but the best thing is an old hog hair paintbrush, one of the little small ones. You get them, you can get them at the dollar store or anywhere, but you can get down in the little grooves and all that a little better because you need to get all down in those grooves in that so you don't have anything sticking and your stuff comes out looking good then. But you're going to grease it real good, and yes, the bacon grease is hot. I like doing it when it's hot. I don't wait till it gets chilled a little. So let me fill these pans. I'll be back. All right, I got it all in there. I got to kind of bump it a little bit, get the air bubbles out, and get it all to go down. And I didn't have enough in that jiffy cornbread mix to do the other one so this is just when it's oiled up now it won't rust so and then i used my little pan then for the little bit that was left over and originally when these little pans were made i think that's what they was probably made for you know when you have enough mix to do what cornbread you need and you have that little bit left over you take that little bit left over and you can make some real tiny ones out so you didn't have to waste the cornbread mix so, we we'll put this on the oven here. We're going to go at 400 degrees, preheated to 400 degrees. We're going to let it bake for a little while and check it. And we'll be back to this in a minute. Okay, I took them out. Evidently, that jippy cornbread mix, it has more rise to it than I thought it did. So, I overfilled them a little bit. So, which I might have just put maybe one little spoon in each one of those 
and I had enough to do all of that and another one of those. So, let them kind of cool just a minute and get them out and you get to see what they look like. Okay, there they all are. They're out. I don't eat one of them little ones. I'm going to eat another one. They're pretty good. So, that's about all I got this time. Hope that helps y'all. That shows you some something that you can carry with you for a little, little bit of snack. You know, a little substance in you whenever you're sitting out on the deer stand or something. Um, I'll see y'all next time. That's all I got this time.